हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट ले आउट ऑफ कर्नल इन यूनिक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस सेशन आर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट हाउ प्रोसेस चेंजेस मोड फ्रॉम यूजर टू कर्नल एंड एक्सप्लेन मेमोरी मैप ऑफ यू एरिया इन कर्नल लेट एस सी ले आउट ऑफ कर्नल दो कर्नल एग्जीक्यूट्स इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ अ प्रोसेस virtual memory mapping associated with the kernel is independent of all processes means multiple processes execute simultaneously in the system that we already know so virtual memory mapping for each and every process is independent of kernel okay kernel is not aware of the virtual memory mapping associated with the uh, processes that virtual memory mapping which is associated with the kernel is independent of all the processes now the code and data for the kernel reside in the system permanently whenever system boot the system boot process load the kernel code into memory and set up the necessary tables and registers to map its virtual addresses into physical memory address the virtual address is the address which is created by the cpu okay so it is necessary to convert that virtual address into the physical memory address so whenever system boots at that time the whole kernel code is loaded into the memory and it also initializes all the kernel data structures and register map which is required for this conversion now let us see how there is a change in mode from user to kernel now as we know we have uh, two levels in unix operating system user level and kernel level so whenever process executes in the system it moves between user mode and kernel mode okay now as shown in this figure we have register triple first three register triples are for kernel mode and the next three register triples are user mode now this diagram shows the virtual address of the kernel mode where the kernel register triples start at virtual address 0 and it range up to 4m minus 1 while the user register triples start onwards from 4m 4m onwards okay so these are the virtual addresses for kernel mode and 4m 4m onwards are the virtual address for the user mode now as shown here the kernel register triple points to the kernel page tables the, these page tables are for uh, user data text and uh, three regions of the kernel data text uh, text and stack regions okay so these are the uh, page tables which is associated with kernel register triple while these are the page table which is associated with the user register triple so whenever there is a change in mode from user to kernel then it is mandatory to have an access to kernel addresses kernel virtual address so whenever process will change its mode from user to kernel then kernel has to access the kernel addresses but it is not mandatory whenever there is a change from kernel to user as i already told that many processes executes in the system simultaneously so many processes are executing in kernel mode so the virtual memory mapping is independent of all the processes okay in kernel mode and uh, that's why it is necessary to uh, track the virtual address of the processes whenever there is a change from user to kernel mode okay so this is how processes change its mode from user to kernel or kernel to user every time they have to refer the page table where the page table contains the physical uh, address for that particular pages which is uh, converted uh, which is located as a virtual address in the kernel register triples so this uh, this contains the frame numbers of the physical memory all page tables so this is how the changing mode from user to kernel or kernel to user happens now let us pause a video and uh, why uh, write down the answer for this that when changing mode 
from user to kernel system permits access to kernel addresses but it prohibits such access when executing in user mode why this is so just pause the video and write down your answer okay now as i already told the virtual memory mapping which is associated with the kernel is independent of all the processes which are executing in kernel mode which are executing in the system so as we know kernel contains highly privileged instructions user processes cannot have access to kernel process or user mode can't have access to kernel mode so but the kernel mode can have access to the user mode and as all highly privileged instructions are executed in kernel mode whenever there is a change in mode from user to kernel it is necessary to check the kernel virtual addresses for converting that virtual address into the physical addresses because the virtual memory mapping which is associated with the kernel is independent of all the processes okay now uh, let us see about u area now as i told you that uh, uh, there is a virtual memory mapping virtual address to physical address some system creates the virtual address same as physical address so both addresses are identical so conversion function for virtual address to physical address for such system is called as a identical function now next is u area this u area is one of the kernel data structures every process has its private u area kernel access it as if there were only one u, u area in the system that of the running process kernel changes its virtual address translation map according to the executing process to access the correct area now what is the written what written here that kernel access u area as if there were only one u area in the system which is of running process so kernel changes the virtual address translation map according to the executing process to access the correct u area when compiling the operating system loader assigns the variable u the name of the u area which has a fixed virtual address now the value of the u area virtual address is used at the time of the context switch by the kernel u area is probably used whenever there is a context switch by the kernel by the kernel means by kernel whenever there is a context switch between the kernel processes okay now kernel is aware of address translation from virtual address to physical address of u area so kernel dynamically change the address mapping of u area to another physical address two physical address represent u area of two process but kernel access them via the same virtual address means virtual address for two processes are same but whenever they are converted into the physical address there will be two physical address for two different processes okay so two physical address represent the u area of two processes but kernel access them via the same virtual address now process can access its u area only when it is executing in kernel mode kernel can access only one u area at a time by its virtual address okay so u area partially define the context of the process now this is what about the u area now let us see how kernel accesses the u area of the processes which are running in kernel mode now let us see the memory map of u area in the system now as shown here we have total four processes process a b c and d in the system and this is the kernel register triple the first register triple contains text second register triple contains information about data while the third register triple contains information about the u area here only we have shown the virtual address of the u area and the number of pages in the page table text and data is not shown here now let us see uh, that currently process d is executing in kernel mode and that's why the u area points to the page table of the process d whose virtual address is 2m and the number of pages present in this tables are 4 now suppose 
kernel wants to access u area of process a then then it is necessary to change the virtual address of the process it is it will load the virtual address of the process in u area and the total number of pages present in the page table for that process a so virtual address for process a is 1m and the number of pages present are 4 so in this way the u area virtual address changes dynamically okay and while the text and data do not change because processes share kernel text and data so in this way the u area can be accessed only one at a time in kernel mode and whenever there is a context switch from one process to another process it is necessary to change this virtual address in u area in kernel register triple so this third field which is present in kernel register triple changes dynamically whenever there is a context switch from one process to another process so this is all about the how the kernel how there is a change from user to kernel mode and how kernel has to access the kernel addresses whenever there is a change in mode from user to kernel and how kernel register triple changes its virtual address whenever there is a context switch from one process to another process in kernel mode this is all about the u area and change in mode from user to kernel these are the references thank you